SpaceX hit a big milestone a couple of weeks ago at their Texas test facility. The Falcon 9 second stage engine has now successfully completed its tests, burning for a full five and a half minutes. This was the final rocket test required before SpaceX could launch their new and shiny Falcon 9. The first stage rockets were successfully tested at their Texas facilities on October 16, 2009. The Falcon 9 is being assembled at Cape Canaveral as we speak, and SpaceX hopes to be able to launch within the next three months. Of course, we've heard the three-month timeline from them before, specifically September 23rd, when they were, quote, a few months away from having an inaugural Falcon 9 launch vehicle on its launch pad at Cape Canaveral and ready to fly. Of course, every day SpaceX really does get closer to launching, and right now, it sounds like they're targeting a no earlier than or net date of March 2010. So, why should we care about the Falcon 9? Well, for one, it'll allow the U.S. to ship our own cargo and crew to the International Space Station after the space shuttle retires, rather than having to rely on other countries. While a human-rated Dragon crew module won't be ready for a bit, the option is still there. The rocket is also a fraction of the cost of the shuttle on a per-mission and per-vehicle basis. It's estimated that it'll cost around $100 million to send astronauts to the ISS aboard the Falcon 9 and Dragon module, whereas each shuttle mission is closer to half a billion dollars. But most of all, we like the Falcon 9 because it still has that new rocket smell. We can't wait for March or whatever ends up being the launch date for the Falcon 9. It should be a great show. Until then, make sure to join us live every Friday at 2 a.m. Coordinated Universal Time for our very own live show. This week, we have Douglas from Parabolic Arc on to discuss next generation space flight. For those of you in the U.S., that'll be Thursday night at 6 p.m. Pacific or 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Much like the Falcon 9, it'll be a wild ride.